Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your mid-month December reading. This is for the sign of Scorpio. Now this is not a private reading so just take what does resonate and leave the rest. Generally my readings are love readings so we will see what comes up. December 15th through December 31st. And I did a angel guidance reading last night and wisdom came up. So something has to do with wisdom for the end of this month. I think that you guys are gaining wisdom. I have pre-shuffled the deck. So uh, when I feel the need to lay something out, I'm going to do that. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. And I want to <clears throat> wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. looks pretty good doesn't it I think you know I think I'll just leave it alone all right <laughs> okay so the four of wands is the basis of your reading so that tells me that you know there's a lack of contentment somewhere okay there's a lack of contentment I'm not sure where but trust me it's bringing you some wisdom okay I think you guys are really thinking about things about a decision about where you want to go you know, there's a lack of contentment, um, for sure, and I know I just said that, but I was saying it looking at this card, and then I just noticed this card. <laughs> so, there's discontent, there's no doubt about it. Um, even the Four of Cups, uh, right next to the Four of Wands, reversed, it, it appears that there's a lack of something. There's a lack of uh, love. You know, there's a lack of love in some direction. It's like you're not receiving love. You're not receiving the the attention that you desire. Um, you may be overanalyzing things. Um, there may be a lost opportunity and you're looking for more. It's like, I gotta have more. And that's where this discontentment comes from. I have to have more, okay? You're, you're really thinking about your future. It's like the future is a very big deal at this point to you. You know, you have these wishes, you have these desires, um, these big dreams of happily ever after. And, you know, it's like that this is what I want. You know, you're, you have this, uh, you, you're looking for peace, you know, peace of mind within a relationship. And I think wherever you're at right, at right now, there's a, a lack of love because the Ace of Cups is reversed. Upright, you know, there's an abundance of love. Reversed, there's a lack of it. You know, there's not an abundance, especially with the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups like this and the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups reversed it, and the Page of Cups reversed. I mean, there's a lack of love in your life at this point. Um, coming from another person and it's really affecting you in a negative way. It's affecting your beauty, your inner beauty, you know, your ability to shine, your, avail your ability to vibrate on your highest level. It's bringing your vibration down and you're growing weary. It's like, you know what, I'm not sure how much more I can, I can take. I can see the weariness with this Nine of Wands. You've persevered, you've put a lot of work into it. And things just aren't happening. And now you're thinking about, you know, what's right for me with this justice card. This is saying, you know, you're trying to figure out what is right. I just need to do the right thing. And it feels like there's some karma here. There's a karmic situation that is bringing you some wisdom, okay? Wisdom definitely comes into play. I think there's a lack of uh, self-confidence right now. It's like... You know, I don't know if this is you or another person. Uh, this is a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. We have a Libra here. We do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have you here as well. Um, and then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we also have Aquarius. Either way, and this Empress can represent many different signs. I consider it, I consider it to be uh, Taurus, 
Virgo, uh, and Leo. Okay, so it looks to me like many of you are dealing with one of these people right here, and there's just a lack of growth. Okay, there's a lack of renewal. There's a lack of um, movement. There's things are are kind of um, there's a lack of self esteem here somewhere, and I'm not sure if it's you or the other person, but. It feels like there's a uh, withdrawn. Somebody is withdrawn. And it looks like you're looking for more stability. Right here we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, and then we have this, this Seven of Swords. This can signify, you know, uh, lies, deceit, trickery, cheating. Of You know, that's what it signifies, okay? And this is, this is heartache, okay? This right here, the Three of Swords, this is heartache. Some kind of regrets. Um, some kind of... Uh, hurt that somebody is going through that is causing uh, some discontent. Okay, there's definitely a lack of of joy at this time. Probably it could be over, you know, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or, you know, any of the other signs. Um, but anyway, um, I do see that something has been let go. This Ten of Wands, something has been let go, but but perhaps there's regrets over letting that, that person go. There's some regrets because this is reversed. So it's like you let it go, it's gone, but it's not perhaps, you know, you didn't want to let it go because this is reversed, you know. This this upright, it'd be like, you know, I can't carry this anymore. I have to let it go. But reversed is it appears that it has been let go, but there are regrets over it, you know. Um or hurt over letting it go. It doesn't have to be regrets. It can be hurt. Um, anyway, I feel like this month is um, the end of December. There is definitely some discontentment. And I think that's what I should name this. Well, actually, I'm not going to name the videos this month. But anyway, it's time to start something new. But you guys are resisting it. It looks like something has ended. Because this is the death card. You know, and perhaps... You know, you guys are contemplating. There's a lot of contemplation here, as a matter of fact. You're really wondering what you should do, where where should I go? You know, you're contemplating ending your relationship because this is a this is a relationship, but it is reversed and it is a completion. It's the Ten of Cups. You know, but there's there is ending a commitment. Commitment relationship, you know, because it looks like it's not fulfilling your wishes. You're looking for more. And if you see the wishes being fulfilled, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, that's, and then there's lies, deceit, trickery here, you know, somebody's lying to themselves or they're lying to somebody else. There is some lies right here, you know, there is. And because, I mean, it could be somebody's lying to themselves because they're not, they're not getting, they're not being able to offer the love they want to offer or they're not getting the love that they desire. You know, there, there's a lack of emotional uh support right here okay emotional love um and it's really making somebody feel quite you know low somebody's feeling quite low because of it um anyhow it's time to do the right thing the justice card comes up to say it is time to do the right thing be just be honest there is a huge heaviness uh, surrounding you that needs to be released there is this is a heaviness and this is a heaviness there's a heaviness that is weighing you down and it has to do with love i feel like many of you are looking for more okay when this card is there's so many reversals with these cups and it's it's really sad because it feels like you you're looking for love you're looking for this relationship to prosper, you know, and I feel like you have these dreams. This is a dreamer as well. You have these dreams of happily ever after that are just not coming to fruition with where you're at right now. So I think your your hopes and wishes are geared in another direction, you know, and there's deceit attached to it in some way. So I'm going to get the other deck while I shuffle. Um, this, you know, you guys could be contemplating an ending of a relationship or it could be right around the corner. Okay. It really could. I mean, this is the commitment, but it's, it's reversed. Okay. The 10 of cups, that's a relationship alignment, happily ever after it's reversed next to the death card, which is an ending, you know, but it's, it is reversed. So it tells me that, 
you know, somebody is scared to end something for some reason. Or they want a new beginning. You know, that death card can also signify, but it is reversed. So that's why it can, you know, the need for a new beginning, a fresh start to start over. Somebody could be, you know, thinking about starting over, you know, wanting to start over in a situation with a relationship. Okay. And you might have two choices. You might have a choice between a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a Leo uh, Aries Sagittarius. But I see that one door is really close to closing because that's a door closing. It's time to do the right thing. That's what justice does. The justice says it's time to do the right thing. It's time It's time to bring balance back to your life. I mean, things are out of balance right now. Something is very, very heavy on your heart. It's bringing you wisdom. Trust me. It's bringing you wisdom. Damn it. Same card, different deck. Four of Wands. There's a, a commitment that's in trouble. Okay. Or a, a desire for a commitment. Or an end of a commitment. This could be the end of a commitment between somebody. Or there was a commitment that ended. There was a commitment that ended that's caused a lot of sorrow, caused a lot of hurt, caused some regrets. And now somebody is certainly regretting it. Wishing they hadn't let go. Oh, there could be a third party situation. There could be, you know, there could be some communication going going back and forth between between three people, you and, and two other people, or it's the person you're dealing with and another person. You know, there could be a third party situation for sure. This is a time to communicate, 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 compromise. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got the tower card. Oh God. Oh. So, okay. So anyway, there's definitely a lack of excitement somewhere. It looks like there, there's a lack of excitement wherever you're at right now, where there's like no happiness. Okay, right here, the page of wands. This is reversed. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, over Leo Aries Sagittarius okay so and there's the tower the tower signifies a breakdown a breakdown this is reversed so I think it's in the process of breaking down something is breaking down okay because there's a lack of there there's a lack of love this page of cups is a uh, uh, new love but it's reversed it's like the love isn't there so the tower comes into a reading to say that there is a false foundation that needs to break down and I think that it is in the process of breaking down that's what it looks like you're in the process of something falling apart to bring you a blessing there is a blessing in disguise when you see the tower card in the reading okay because it's time for you to act on your hunches it's time for you to stop ignoring the truth it's time for you to move forward it's time for you to bring this excitement back to your life because right now there's a lack of excitement there's a lack of growth there's a lack of um, respect there's a lack of esteem there's a lack of worth and it could be you or the other person. I, it's like somebody is moping. You know, I kind of, I feel like somebody is moping over a situation. But we have this four of pent, this king of pentacles reversed. Um, it tells me that things have kind of gotten out of control. 
You know, it's like things are out of control to the point where it's like they can't be fixed. This is uh, uh, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or Virgo, okay? And it's right over you, Scorpio. So it looks like that's what you're dreaming of because this is right here. You want to act on your hunches. Perhaps you want to communicate with this person or you are communicating your person, but it had ended, but there's regrets with this ending. The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords both reversed. It's like, you know, it ended, but I think that you guys are, are regretting the decision regarding that commitment or regarding the that it ended. I think there's regrets regarding the ending and that perhaps communication is desirable. Threes are communication, okay? And it just feels, and, and, you know, there could be communication. There is some, some, some kind of, there's something going on. There's some kind of deceit here, whether it's self-deceit or deceit from another person. Now, this, I, this is, to me, me, the main, this is the cheating card, okay? So I'm not sure if there's cheating going on. I can't say that for sure. It's cheating, it's lies, it's deceit, it's trickery. It also can be lying to yourself. I see the desire for togetherness, okay? There's a desire to be together with somebody in all aspects. And I think many of you are, are have a choice between two people, you know? Perhaps you have a choice between a Leo, Aries, or... Uh, geez, my mind just went back. Sagittarius or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It looks between a fire sign and an earth sign. And it, I do believe that for somebody, some of you, maybe somebody new is in your life, but your heart is someplace else. You know what I mean? Or maybe you're stuck with somebody, but your heart is someplace else. You know, I think I, that's what I see. I, it, appear, it appears to me that perhaps somebody is, is not happy in the commitment that they're in. Now I have to show you what's on the bottom of the deck. The Emperor. The Emperor the Emperor comes out in a reading when it's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. The Emperor is also the king of wisdom. Imagine that. <laughs> that is so funny. You're gaining wisdom through this process. Whatever's going on in your life is bringing you wisdom regarding the choices that you make. Okay? It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to make a decision. It's time to take the lead. Being a father could also have to do with this. something about a father whether you're the father or even if you're the mother being the parent has to do with this reading in some way it affects your choices being a parent is affecting your choices father or mother Okay, Scorpio, the first card is assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love. 
as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. It is time for you to communicate and speak your truth, Scorpio. The next card from Archangel Michael. Be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience it so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Be gentle with yourself. Release any guilt, Scorpio. Follow your own path. Follow your path. Follow your dreams. And when you can do that, you have gained some wisdom. So, unfortunately, the end of December is a period, a time of discontentment, okay? Wanting more. Many of you are looking for something more in regards to affection. So this is what I have. And I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.